Hi there, this is Yunus and for this video we're going to create a program that will store your class scores into the array. The first element is going to be roll number and the second number is going to be your actual test score. So the hardest part of this program is that we have to create a dynamically allocated to the array because when we run the program, we don't know right away how many test scores user wants to input. So that means we have to give them an option of expanding the array instead of having the constant size array. That means we're going to assign the number of arrays on the runtime instead of the before the compile. So the first things that we need is going to be, we need the number of rows and we need number of columns. So a couple of facts that we know before assigning any values to those is going to be the number of rows will represent the number of actual test scores and the number of columns will represent the so per test we're going to store roll number and score value and we know that on the columns we'll have only two elements so we can assign number two right away to it the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna prompt the user to enter how many test scores do you want to input and as I said integer rows represents number of scores so that means we're gonna store the number of tests in our rows integer variable so the next thing we have to create dynamic 2d array dynamic 2d array is basically an array of pointers that points to another array since the actual score is gonna be uh, some number with the uh, decimal point on it we're gonna use double and we're gonna write two pointers then um, we have to name it so it's gonna be scores we're gonna name scores array and equals new double and number of rows so after, after we do this, this line gives us an array that is actually a 1D one, one array so far. To create the next part, we have to use for loop. For integer i equals 0. i is less than number of rows. i++. plus plus. So this loop is going to the number of scores so the next thing that we do write scores array i equals new double columns so this line this lines means okay take the first array element which is scores array it's gonna start with zero and add another array to that one. So each 1D array will have its own 1D array and together they'll represent 2D array. So the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna say scores array i and one equals i plus one. What this line represents all right, we got our 2D array. So take 2D array, add element 0 and 1, then store roll number in it, which is going to be 1, 0 plus 1. So the point is, after each iteration, this line will store the roll number of each test. So when it goes to the second one, it's going to be i is going to be 1 so it's going to be scores array 1 1 equals 2 and scores array 2 1 equals 3 and so so on 
The next thing we're gonna ask the user to enter to enter the actual score number. Enter score. I plus one and I'm gonna leave a space. So this line is gonna just display enter score number one, number two, and so on. And we're gonna store actual score numbers in our 2D array at I and zero because I and one is gonna store the roll number and I zero is gonna store the test score and it's gonna be like that for each of them so the first one is gonna be zero one it's gonna store the roll number then zero zero is gonna store the test number so the next thing that we do we want to average the your test score to do that let's create another variable at the top and we're gonna call it average and we're gonna assign it, assign zero to it. So what we do now, we're gonna say average equals average plus scores array i and zero. So this line is gonna total the sum of all of your scores. This is not actual average yet. We're gonna do that outside of the loop. So to make an actual average, what we're going to do, we're going to write this line average equals average divided by the number of rows, which is also a number of test scores. So this line is going to give us actual average. So let's display your scores first. So we're going to create a for loop that's going to loop the number of test scores that you have and we're gonna see out um, scores array I and 1 which is gonna display the roll number and we're gonna display your test score as well which is gonna be I and zero let's add pound sign over there and the last thing that we're gonna do we're gonna display your average so we're gonna say your average score is average and we're gonna finish the program let's run this program So the program starts by asking the user to enter the number of scores that they want to store. So let's say we're gonna we want to store five tests. So we'll enter scores per test. Mm. Seventy-five, sixty-eight point nine. Oh, point nine. Oh, eight. And. Uh, 75.5 so as you can see it displayed the number of each roll number of each test and it displayed the average score as well which is 79.56 uh, that pretty much wraps out our video thank you for watching